Hey everybody, how's it going? I know it's a little bit late, I apologize for that, but hopefully you have been taking advantage of the Oracon, Oragon Coin event, aka Oracoin. Um, yeah, in fact, some of you might already be done, but for those of you who are not, let's just go over quickly what this event entails. Uh, you're going to be running this quest over and over again. It is the Shaolin quest, and it is super easy. There are no gimmicks to really worry about, so as long as you have a powerful uh, wood, uh, sorry, fire type monster, you're pretty much set. But honestly, it really doesn't matter because, as you can see, my tablet uh, happened to get uh, Jekyll and Hyde from the. Uh, uh, the fan boat hatcher, so that's pretty awesome. But the cool thing about this event is that randomly Oragon will show up in this quest, and he functions just the same thing as Berry Bro or uh, Wakurin in the temples. And you need to take him out before that counter reaches zero because he will run away. But if you take him out, he will drop multiple uh, Ora coins for you, and of course, that makes your life. A little bit easier farming for the items in the end. And as you can see, we were able to get. 400 coins from Oregon there. I think it ranges from 200 to 700 coins from what I've seen. So it's pretty awesome. And uh, skipping to the boss here. Um, the boss will also occasionally drop Oro coins as well. So, you know, that's always just a bonus. This is great. It makes farming that much easier. And even easier, making this even easier, is the fact that when you go take on this Shaolin quest, uh, all monsters get plus 99 luck on them, so every monster functions as a max luck monster. So you don't have to bring uh, true max luck monsters to the stage because anything becomes a max luck in this stage, which is pretty awesome. And on top of that, every single chest in this quest will drop 100 aura coins, so that gives you a guaranteed 1,100 coins per run. And as you can see, I got actually got 1,800 from this quest, which is pretty awesome. Now, what do you do with the coins? Well... You can go to this stage and turn these in for items. There is one item that rotates every day at noon Pacific time, or if you're in Japan, 4 a.m. So the day day one reward was five stamina, stamina mins. As you can see, you can only do it once. Now, once it hits noon Pacific time, the item will have changed. And you see, hey, there's a divine shard now. Gonna exchange for that. Pretty awesome. Great. And as you can see on the right, because I have been a little bit late in terms of uh, showing this off, some of them have already disappeared. The orbs, the dark shawls and fire shawls are gone. Today are 30 water shawls, assuming I didn't screw up the uh, release date of this video. Um, but as you can see, there is another divine shawl and orb coming up, and they are actually at a discounted price, only 500 coins. So I would make sure that you get those. Um, on top of that, actually, let me let me pull up the actual game screen. There are other items. Uh, let's throw this up here. There we go. All right. So there are other items that are there for the entire duration of the uh, event. Some of them have limits, some of them do not. Now these three monsters here are the ones you want to max luck. And there is technically no limit, so you can make as many copies of these as you want. I'm not sure why you would, but if you do, that is an option. We've got Spirina here. I guess we can't look at her, but... Uh, we've got Tenika and Bardi here. So, of course, you're probably going to want to max luck this. I don't see why not. The event is very easy. And, uh, actually, I'll go over why. Because, let's take a look. So, again, like I said, it takes about 29,700 coins. No, no, not about. It does take 29,700 coins to max luck one monster. Uh, if you want to max luck all three, it costs 89,100 coins. If you want to get all of the items, that's about 81,500 coins. To get everything costs 170,600 coins. That means 1,706 drops, right? And of course, this is ignoring dailies because uh, uh, not everybody might want all of them. So let's just go with the items on the that are on the whole time. If you do a four-player co-op, no con clear. Hopefully you don't die. Uh, but that's 
that gives you a guaranteed 1100 coins which means you can get max luck of one of these monsters in about 27 runs that doesn't sound too bad assuming you get 300 bonus drops from either oregon or the boss it takes maybe three minutes to clear this quest you can get a max luck in an hour that really doesn't seem that bad so uh i mean if you have some time you know just start pumping out the quests and you should be good so it shouldn't be that hard and more importantly you really want to unlock this item here um you cannot get this orb reward, as you can see it's locked, until you spend 100,000 coins. So, I mean, like I said here, it takes 89,100 coins to get all three max lux. So, your goal should be, no matter what, to get these 20 orbs, right? If you want those 20 orbs, you need to spend 100,000 coins anyway, you might as well max luck everything. Just saying. Now there is of course limits to some of these monsters, some of these rewards you can get from this uh, coin shop. Of course you can only get the orbs once. Uh, it does cost 5,000 to get them, but uh, again you need to spend 100,000 before you have the ability to grab it. Uh, there is a Waku Waku stick here which allows you to transfer uh, one able berry to another monster, not swap, transfer. Uh, that costs 25,000, and of course you can only get one. We got a Able Boy scroll there uh, that costs 25,000 as well. You only can get one of them. Um, you've got the uh, Divine Shara here, which costs 1,000. You can get five of those. You can see that limit on the right side, of course. And I am actually going to get all five right now because I am severely low on those Divine Charles. But again... The great thing is you can choose how many you want to swap at once, making your life that much easier. Uh, you can also get this Insta Ascend Gem for 1500, max 3. The Insta Transcension Gem, 2000 coins for 1 transfer. Stamina Mins, you can get 10 of those at 300 apiece. You got the Waku Waku Min, which will upgrade your Ableberry by 1 level. 3 of those for 2500 each. Uh, a Continue Min, 10 for 300. I mean, there are accidents. Why not? Uh, the friend item, I yeah, maybe you don't need that. I honestly have used that once in my entire life, and that's just because I really wanted to reuse a was it a Daki that I think I only have one on my friends list now, something like that. And uh, last but not least, you got the Mega Charl. Was it Mega Stone? I forget what it was called, but there's no limit there. You can get as many as you want. So, like, if you're done with this and you've just been farming coins for whatever reason, just stock up on those Mega Charles. Ah, what's the name? Whatever. Anyways, uh, I hope you are taking advantage of this event. And as you see on the schedule, uh, towards the end of the event, we've got some dragon. And I totally wrote that wrong because it should say... It says dark fire, dark water, dark wood, dark light. You know, that's dark dragon gems, fire dragon gems, water dragon gems, wood dragon gems, and light dragon gems for the last week. And that is almost certainly worth it, especially for those of your accounts that have just started. Um, they probably don't have that many dragon gems. I know my tablet does not, so that will let me ascend, transcend my, uh, what did I get on my tablet? Uh, I got a Moo on my tablet, so um that should be great and yeah i know unfortunately it, it is not easy to take a video on my tablet so uh until i can find an easy way to do it reliably uh there's probably not going to be any videos from that so sorry but that's okay what's important is my main account so yeah you have until november 2nd before the uh event ends so start farming or Congratulations on finishing farming. I'm sure there's a lot of you out there who have finished. Um, yeah, that's it for today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. And again, please follow uh, at ENGMonst, uh, myself and SF. Uh, do our best to try and make sure that you get the latest and greatest news as soon as possible through that Twitter account. Um, we also do live 
updates on the news by myself. SF will summarize everything at the end. So even if you're not up that late, you'll be able to get that wiki page right away. Uh, as for this account, Scott Knack YT is where you can get the latest for these videos updated. Hopefully I'll get on a normal groove with these, but uh, work is a little bit crazy for the next few weeks. So don't, don't tell anybody, but it might be a little tough. Um, uh, but yeah, and apparently today is my three year anniversary of starting to upload, uh, Monster Strike videos, so, yay! No special events, but thought I'd throw that in there. Alright, until next time, thank you for watching. Until then, bye-bye.